There is no doubt that Chinese cars have taken up a large amount of car sales here in Saudi Arabia. I mean, just go outside. The amount of Chinese cars that you'll see from brands like GAC Motors, MG, Havel, Shenzhen, and of course, Geely are many. And I think the factor that attracts people to these Chinese cars is the amount you pay and the amount of equipment that you get with that money. There's a lot of features in this car. So let me put it into perspective. A base model Toyota Corolla is 74,000 riyals, while this thing, the all new 2020 Geely Cool Ray, is 72,000 riyals. So it is 2,000 riyals cheaper than the base model Toyota Corolla and has a lot more features. So without a lot of talking, let's see what it's all about. Before I start talking about the exterior styling of this car, let me tell you what engine this car comes with. It comes with a 1.5 liter turbo three cylinder engine. That's actually 13 cylinders less than the Bugatti we made a last video on. Check that out. Uh, so it produces 177 horsepower and 255 newton meters of torque and can do zero to 100 in 7.9 seconds, which is actually not that bad. Hmm. Let's shut this up. So let's start talking about the exterior design of the Geely Cool Ray from the front end, obviously. And let's be honest, it's not at all a bad looking car. It looks kind of good. It has all LED headlights and fog lights. And you have this grill with some red highlights. And you can look down here, there is this plastic piece trying to resemble carbon fiber. And they clearly haven't destroyed the front end look of this car by making the grill too big like some <coughs> other car companies overall a good looking car now over to the side of the Geely Cool Ray although this is a base option car you still get 17 inch alloy wheels which is actually nice now you have turn signals on the mirrors you have this plastic bits and pieces over here and this car has a ground clearance of 196 millimeters and this is the key to the Geely Cool Ray and I was surprised to see that you can start the car with the key like some expensive cars you lock the car twice and hold this button at the bottom. So this is the whole reason why we are making this video. We were quite impressed by the amount of features that you get in this base model and at this base price of 72,000 riyals. It comes with uh, a push start button. Let's start this car. Nice. Now let's get into the interior aspects. So here you have this nice grab handle for the door. It's actually integrated very well and looks cool actually, although it's plastic and stuff. Now here you have your steering wheel, which is a three spoke steering wheel and comes with plenty of buttons and controls integrated on it. Now you don't have a full digital display on this one, but you have a screen which shows you which door is open, which is really rare in cars of this price point. If you look over here, you have your 10.2 inch infotainment screen right there and below that you have your AC vents and down here you have your AC controls. This car has automatic AC which is never seen in this price point to be honest and here you have your key shifter which I think is inspired from Volvo. Volvo is a company that is owned by Geely. Now to shift the gear you put your foot on the brake. There's a lock behind here. You hold it and pull it down. Now you are in drive. Push it up once, you're in neutral and all the way up is reverse and the backup camera comes on and it has guidance lines as well. Really cool feature to have. Now you can press the P and put the car back in park and if you want to shift it manually, pull it down to drive, push it to the side. There you go. Now you can shift the car in manual mode. Let's push the P. Now you have an electronic parking brake in this car. You push it down, disengage it, push it up to engage it. And you have this button over here. The car turns itself off when you're in a standstill. And when you press the accelerator again, the car restarts it. And here you have some buttons for the driving modes. Uh, and this is quite inspired from the Porsche, I guess. Not, I mean, the quality is not that nice, but it's still there. And here you have your driving modes. You can have an eco mode, a sport mode, and there is then this button, which is actually used when you go downhill. It limits the speed to 35 kilometers per hour. 
So now we are here in the passenger seat of the Geely Cool Ray. The seats of this car are good and has nice support. But there's an unnecessary support over here which I feel is a bit annoying. You have a plastic trim over here, a grab handle, two cup holders and a simple and small storage compartment. And I poked around this infotainment system for a while and it's not the best and doesn't have Apple CarPlay but it's pretty responsive and gets the job done and it is way better than the infotainment systems of cars at this price point. You can also control your AC in the infotainment screen. So now let me hop to the driver's seat and take the Geely Cool Ray for a ride. Now let me back this car up. The reverse camera comes up and it is really useful especially this guidance line. The driving feel of this car is just like any other crossover. It has a bit of a height to it and the suspension of this car does not pick up everything on the road and it is a smooth ride. The front suspension of this car is independent suspension while the rear is semi-independent which gives it a good ride. Although the car is just three cylinders but when the turbo kicks in there is a bit of a feel to it especially in smooth mode. It's not that big of a difference but it's noticeable. Now here is a driving point of view of the Geely Cool Ray. The acceleration of the car is not that terrible but I have noticed a drawback especially when you are driving about the speeds of 80 and 90. The car picks up a lot of wind noise from all the sides. It's kind of annoying to be honest. Now I thought why don't I hop behind the wheel of the Geely Cool Ray and have a drive. Let's go. I mean it's pretty nice for a crossover. It's it's nice. You don't feel like everything on the road. It's pretty nice. We go around the block. <laughs> and it has decent power. You can't lie about it. I mean it has decent power. It has a turbo. Although it's a three cylinder. There is you know sufficient power. Now let me try to do a pull over here. Now let me put it into manual. Here we go. Once the turbo kicks in, there's a bit of wheel spin and stuff. So now let's have a look at the rear end of the Geely Cool Ray. The sporty styling of this car continues in the back of this car with this spoiler over here. The car has LED tail lamps and this chrome plate over here spells out G Lee. And this car has a rear bumper which looks like a diffuser with four exhausts which I think is a bit too much for a car with three cylinders. And here you can see the rear view camera of the G Lee Cool Ray. Now let's pop the trunk. Over here, you have 330 liters of space and you also have this cargo cover over here. You can also drop down the seats, not completely flat, but it gives you more cargo space. Now we are here in the rear seats of the Geely Cool Ray. And I don't think the headroom or legroom will be a problem because there is enough of it. You also have an armrest over here with two cup holders no AC vents, but there is a USB charging port over here. This rear glass panel integrating with the rear windshield of this car, that's really cool. So the thing with this car is that it has not established a good history of reliability or getting a good resale value like 
cars like Toyota or Hyundai. They have been in the market for decades and people are sure that you're going to get a reliable car, you're going to get good resale value with those cars. But the Geely has still not proved that point. And there is always going to be the stereotype of being a Chinese car, being not that reliable or that efficient. But as far as we have seen, it's a good car and if you're in a market for a car of this price range, I definitely recommend you to check it out and to really know if this car is reliable or not, that's another story for the future. So you've come to an end to this video, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment on this video. Till the next one, bye. Let me hop into the driver's seat and take the GD Cool Ride. Cool Ray. <laughs> <for a while. laughs>